Have you ever received an invention disclosure where when you look at it, you're thinking, wow, this solution seems to be pretty obvious. Well, it is possible you can patent what would otherwise be considered an obvious solution, depending on the fact pattern. Today, we want to share one way that you may be able to go about in doing this. Hi, I'm George R. Meyer. I'm a patent attorney that's been practicing patent law for over 30 years. I've learned a lot of things along the way, and I hope to share these with you. Subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Okay, let's turn to today's topic. This week's video is entitled, So, What's the Problem? And we're going to discuss getting a patent based on discovery of the source, also called root cause of a problem. So what we'll discover is that an obvious solution can be claimed in view of failures by others. The problem needs to have been known prior to the discovery of the source or root cause of the problem. The leading case on obviousness is Graham v. John Deere. And one of the secondary considerations is failures by others. Now keep in mind, this does not apply if you are the first person to discover a problem because they need to have novel, non-obvious claims to get a patent. So you can't be the first person to discover the problem. There's Supreme Court precedent on this, and I think the case goes back to the 1880s. So it's been around for over 130 years. Okay, let's take a look at symptoms versus causes, because this is where we have problems with the courts. Okay, let's assume a car battery is dead and the car won't start. Well, the driver keeps replacing the battery with the same result. So he gets a brand new battery. Car starts up right away. Within three months, the battery is dead. Buys another battery, replaces that prior one. Again, the car starts up right away, but within three months, the battery is dead. Well, do you think the battery is really the problem? Well, the source of the problem ended up being a bad charging system. And the battery was not recharging, which is why the battery died. So the car battery dying is the symptom. It wasn't the cause. The cause was the charging system. Well, let's take a look at Henry Spinoble because this actually lays it out fairly well. And this is a fairly easy to understand case. We have an illustration of the vial, which includes a dry pharmaceutical in the lower compartment and a liquid in the upper compartment. Now there's a plug 22, for example, it's made of a butyl rubber that is used to separate the two components. Well, the liquid was reaching the pharmaceutical. The prior attempts focused on the interface between the plug and the wall of the neck portion of the glass vial 10. So in other words, this is the rubber glass interface. So if you'd ask the people back in these days, what was the problem before Spinoble, they would say, well, the liquid is passing through the interface between the stopper and the glass. Well, Spinoble discovered that the source of the problem was that the liquid was passing through the plug itself. Spinoble's solution was to apply silicone film to the rubber stopper. Now, the use of silicone films on butyl rubber to reduce permeability to water, well, that was already known. Of course, USPTO rejected, and of course, the USPTO was reversed. Here's the key point within Spinoble. A patentable invention may lie in the discovery of the source of a problem, even though the remedy may be obvious once the source of the problem is identified. This is part of the subject matter of a whole, which should always be considered in determining the obviousness of an invention under 35 U.S.C. 103. Okay, so what are the takeaways? First, I will mention the fact pattern for discovery of the source of a known problem is narrow. But consider taking the problem to a higher level of abstraction. For example, going back to our uh, car battery, you know, somebody would say the problem is that the battery's dead. And it's like, no, take it up to a higher level of abstraction. The car won't start. Look at Spinoble. What's the problem? Well, liquid's going through the um, interface between the rubber and the glass. No, take it to a higher level of abstraction. 
the liquids getting down to the dry pharmaceutical. Address the discovery of the source of the known problem in the detailed description, not the related art section. Anything you put in the related art section, you are admitting that that was already known before the inventor's discovery. Expect a lot of pushback from the USPTO during prosecution. And that's what we have for you. So if you like this video, give us a like and leave a comment. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, or better yet, sign up for our email list at georgeRmeyer.com and get a freebie. Now currently, my freebie is the dependent claim equation. And many have told me that they wish they had the equation earlier in their careers. It's that good. Follow us on LinkedIn. Thank you for your time and check next week for a new video. See you next week.